In this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, block printing with um, inks that are meant for either fabric or paper. And um, the inks are right here. And they are the Speedball Fabric and Paper Ink, block printing ink. There are um, six tubes of ink in this, and it's very similar to um, the Liquitex primary acrylic basic set um, that I've recommended for my um, Spirograph videos um, as far as the colors go. You get red, yellow, and blue, which are the primary colors, and green, black, and white. So it's similar. And um, nice inks. They're not very um, I think each one is um, 1.25 ounces, I think. So small tubes of ink. They're a little bit thicker than regular block printing ink. They are oil-based, oil so they, they do still wash with water. They wash up with water, even though they're oil-based, as long as they're wet. Once they dry, they are supposed to be, um, I guess you'd have to use a solvent of some kind to wash them. But I want to show you how they have come out. Um, this, these are some quilt squares I'm working on for a quilt. And the quilt is called Hot Lips Houlihan. It commem commemorates Nash, the Korean War, um, nurses. So, I used a very simple block of lips, and you can see over here, these are actually a frown, because I was testing out frowns. These are the smiles, and th the ink itself prints very nicely. This is on muslin, um, and what you have to do is you roll it out with your brayer and in a tray, and I made an earlier video on the basic um, block printing set. But you roll the ink out, you put it on your block, you stamp it on your fabric, and then you have to let the, the whole project sit for about 24 hours. It'll be dry to the touch in 24 hours. And then you have to wait about a week before you can wash it. Now, I did that with this nine patch um, block here. So it washes okay, but right here there's a little pink, and right here there's a tiny little pink, and I had to replace this center square because this one square, the ink ran and it became pink. And I think you can tell it, it's quite pink next to this one. And the reason that happened is because I washed it with warm water. And so that kind of loosened up the ink again, and it did bleed a little bit into this square. So on a project, when you're going to do this, you have to wash the item then in cold water from that point on. So that's something to consider. It works up very much like the um, normal block printing ink. Here are some other examples. Here are some fish on cotton fabric. Here are some eagles on the same type of cotton fabric. These are uh, toy ducks on cross stitch fabric on fiddler's cloth. And you could actually now just go ahead and cross stitch the design. So as far as making your own cross-stitch cross designs, it's a wonderful way to quickly get your designs on there without counting and then come in with your floss and just fill in. And then I also did some hankies just with random um, figures on them. My mother and I have a big thing going with hankies and lipstick. And as you can see, I've got lipstick on here. When I was four she gave me a lipstick and I had a hanky. 
And I've left a circle here because I'm going to come back and do a spider graph on these. And here's another one in black and yellow. And again, just random figures. And on all of the fabrics, the ink worked well. The, um, and here is a larger block. This is actually my kitchen floor. It's a block of my kitchen floor design. And I got hit by lightning and hit the floor. So I, I kind of wanted to save this before I moved from the house. So um, layered figures went on fine. But I'm waiting a week. Um, th these I can actually wash now because it's been over a week. But I'm going to do them in cold water. So out of all of these um, uses with the fabric ink, the eagles came out a little bit heavier than I really want. But what I'm going to do, see the block itself, um, I had to do these before I sewed them together. And what I'm doing is making a smaller one so that I can actually sew the blocks together and then put a smaller bird in the center. And it'll be less um, thick, it'll be less rubbery feeling because it'll be smaller. Um, the ducks came out wonderful. The fish, um, I ran into the same thing with the fish as I did with the um, some of the birds, the ink had gotten thinned out a little bit with water. And I have red fish under there and then blue fish on top. So I had to come back with a thicker ink. So you may have to test out, I would use a test square of your fabric and test it. This would be wonderful on t-shirts or sweatshirts. And I thought this ink had to be heat set and it doesn't. All you do is let it dry um, overnight so it's dry to the touch and then wait, um, I think it says seven days, it might say eight days, wait a week uh, to wash it before you wash it. So a wonderful product, a little bit pricey. Those six tubes come in this box and I believe I got this at Blick and it was about $21. Now I've gotten a whole quilt done with the lipstick, a uh, twin size quilt, and I'll have probably more than enough to do, um, I'm going to do a red, white, and blue bandana quilt with probably the fish and the birds out of one box. I haven't started the second box yet, but I think if you wanted... Um, well, if you were going to use all the different colors evenly on a quilt, you'd need one box for maybe a full-size quilt. Where I'm only using, say, blue or yellow, or um, in the case of the lipstick quilt, almost the whole tube, uh, it fell on the floor, but almost the whole tube of red is gone for a twin-size quilt with just the lips. So that's why I had bought two boxes, because I wasn't sure uh, how much I would get out of them. But um, one box using all the different colors would do probably a twin size or maybe a full size quilt. So it's a little bit expensive, it, like I said, $21. But if you like block printing, and if you like decorating quilts or t-shirts or uh, cross stitch, hankies. It's really got a multitude of uses and you could do um, kitchen towels, you could do bath towels, you know, on a border. So um, a wonderful way to take your block printing to fabric and a good product. I like the ink. It's a little bit thicker, as I said, than the regular block printing ink, but it's a wonderful way. Um, my original plan had been to hand quilt designs on these. By block printing, I don't have to hand quilt because the batting, um, these are four inch squares, so the batting is the type that I only, um, I don't have to do center block quilting to keep the square together. 
so in this case I can now block print a quilt instead of hand quilting it and it gives you a choice in your quilting or in your designing and this fabric or paper ink actually works wonderfully on paper too this one um, here are two small prints I made when I was doing uh, the lipsticks on that quilt these are both on um, Stonehenge paper which is a fine art paper it's kind of a thick Stonehenge um, paper I would say at least 90 pound paper but the ink even though it's thicker went on very nice now these are also about five or six days since they've been printed they're not quite fully dry yet um, that one's called we the people and this one is called blood and glory and again I left circles on there in case I want to come back and do spirograph the flag is a rubber a regular rubber stamp and not a um, carved block and even that worked fine so this is how the ink works on paper just as well really whether it's on fabric or paper of course with the fabric it works better if your items are pressed and flat before you print them and at the beginning I had mentioned that you might have to clean up with solvent and I meant the tools that I guess if you let the ink dry on the tools you would then have to use like a, a paint thinner or, or a turpentine or something to clean the brayer up and then you have to be careful because I don't know how rubber reacts to that so the best way to do it is to just um, wash all your tools including your blocks while the ink is still damp or wet and just use soap and water and clean everything up but that is the speedball fabric or paper ink on both fabric and paper.